please, this gentleman. Then we'll try and squeeze in one more question and then have a wrap up from our um, panel members. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Mohamed Anwar. I'm President of Burmese Rohingya Community in Australia. And my question is to Mr. Ulaso. He, you mentioned that uh, you feel, uh, I mean, you show different from the other RNB party today. You said that you feel sympathy for Rohingyas. And you obviously use Rohingyas to think. And I really appreciate for that. And thank you. And, but in your current state, you are the one who won the election against USDP. RNDB is the one responsible for the public action. Since June 2012, thousands of Rohingyas have been killed, although the government is saying it is small figures. And many women, young girls are being raped, not only by the security forces, by the kind extremists as well. What did the RNDB do? to pr protect that. If you respect the human right, or if you feel that religious people are human beings, okay, let's forget about the citizenship. Let's focus on the human right. They are human beings on earth. If they are human beings, do they have to right to secure their dignity or not? Currently, what happened inside is our Women are losing their dignity. Many girls are being raped by security forces, by police forces. And who are these police forces? They are your kind. 80, more than 85 persons, around 90 persons, security forces, police, and everyone is your kind. But I never heard of RNDP party saying this should be a stop or this should be prevented or these people deserve to live there with dignity. Can you please clarify that one? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Violet Cho. Um, yeah, here is the story and you know the story from uh, you are I think you are based a saying. I always said in my papers, we are we win majority, but we are marginalized. Uh, premiers and uh, High ratings are uh, elected from uh, taken by the USDP. So we are we are marginalized people. We are marginalized party. We are not ruling party. Uh, now you are blaming upon me. That is very lovable. You have to blame uh, you, have very, you have to blame the governments and officials. We are. I have already said that. We are very human and human beings, and we are very sympathy of, of all of the oppressed people. That is not our policy. We are always, always not to, to solve this violence. We have tried our best. But the policy of the high-ranking Burmese official military elite is very complicated and very hard to know about this. So we are just tricking by ourselves. And always, uh, what I've already said that Muslim community and Rakhine is peacefully coasting for a long time. But there has been very minute quarrelings. But some quarrelings are for the interests of the uh, to sustain their power by the military elites. So you have to differentiate these problems very clearly, I think. Thank you.